What are we doing today? We're shooting an advertisement for uh, Colgate toothpaste. <laughs> Airbnb, where we've been staying for the week, and we're shooting a music video today, which is quite exciting. So, finished a song a while back called Low, and decided to shoot a video out here. So, with John Kim, who has shot some videos in the past that you may know. Slow down, 24. Decided <laughs> uh, this would be a fun time to shoot an in person video. So, whole crew's here, things are happening. It's gonna be fun. Hello there. How are you feeling? A little tired. Had a lot of work this week. I'll make this quick. We'll give you time to like, you know, get into it, get out of zone. Uh, we can do as many takes as you, get, you, get, you need. And we can go through the whole song, or like if you want a break, cutting it out of a chorus or a verse, okay, whatever you want. Um, yeah, just cut a little bit longer. All my high school acting classes <laughs> are gonna pay off today. I feel like it's harder to be channeling the low vibe in California. <laughs> in the middle of sun. I saw somebody skipping down the street the other day. It was just, People are too happy. Let's try to uncover his whole face. Let's do that again. John, can you have a sip of water? When you're like awkward and you don't have to do something, So I'm back home now. During the edit of that video, I realized that I didn't shoot much of the evening part of the shoot. But after doing the scenes at the house, we went outside. We took some shots from the top of the car park, which is really cool. You can see all the buildings of downtown LA around. And then we went to some of the place and got some night shots over there. Super fun. Loved the experience. Um, John and the whole team were just amazing to work with. So thank you everyone who was involved in that. And the music video is now out. If you haven't seen it, you can go see it. I wanted to share a little bit about the song Low because it is quite a different song for me, style-wise and lyric-wise. So lyrically, this song is in the vein of like a, a lament, essentially. I often say my songs are like psalms uh, or prayers set to music in a kind of psalm-like way. Um, I love the psalms. I'm really drawn to them. They're very honest a lot of the time. Some of them are psalms of praise some i said psalms really weird then <laughs> psalms some of them are like praise some of them are thanksgiving some of them are just like in the middle of what's going on in life so i felt like in the context of this album that i'm writing which is called future forever the whole theme of it is a very hopeful theme it's about the return of jesus it's about the restoration of all things um everything being made right and that great hope that we have of our resurrection 
um, that we will meet Jesus again and that he's going to restore everything to the way it was supposed to be and we're going to live forever in eternity with him and with each other. The point of it all is the conclusion of this great love story between God and humanity, right? And this happily ever after that we get to experience. So we have this glorious hope ahead of us of like, there's going to be this restoration. There's going to be this beautiful union between God and his church. But then there's also kind of an ache. There's a kind of longing and a, um, a desire to see that restoration come and recognize that we're not there yet. A lot of songs, um, you know, we talk about our struggles in verse one and then by the chorus, everything's solved again and it's like happy days. But <laughs> I wanted a song that just sits there because sometimes, you know, you're not in that point yet where everything's resolved and everything's great. And I wanted to write a song for that moment. And this came from this period in my life. Some of you that follow me on social media may have seen, I lost my dad last year in December and that was a very difficult time of life. I actually wrote this song leading up to that. It was in a period where all of the health stuff was going on there. At the same time, me and my mum both had COVID. We were stuck at home, um, trapped in our individual rooms, trying to not pass it on to each other. And at the same time, there was just a lot of transition going on in life. Even nice things, you may have seen the apartment video I put up, um, like that whole process of the apartment was going through at the same time as all of this. And I was wrestling with do I even want to move at the, this point? Like, how do I do all of this? You know, life stuff, work, family, church, everything was just like, it felt like everything was happening at once. And I remember talking to a friend of mine and just being like, I just want to hit pause. <laughs> I just wish I could slow everything down right now and just like process one thing at a time. But I'm having to process like eight things at a time. And so I feel like the lyrics do speak for themselves in that, but... I wanted to give some context because a few people were like, hey, where's the where's the hope in this song? <laughs> I want this song to make sense in the context of the album. And I think it will when you hear the full thing. Um, there's a lot of very hopeful songs on this album. There's songs like Living Water, which was actually written from a very similar feeling. So in that place of feeling low, uh, you know, we have one song that expresses the reality of that feeling. And then another song that expresses like, Lord, I need your living water. And it's kind of singing a solution. It's singing, you know, something that will actually help us get out of that place. I'm really happy with how the music video came together. Thank you to the whole team for pulling that together for me. And if you haven't seen it, go check it out. I'll link it in somewhere. Description up here somewhere. That's it. Have a great day. I never know how to finish these videos. <laughs> I've been feeling love. Could you live? Could you live?